Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on December 3rd, 2023, I'll be using the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. There's the front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just Releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What is my all signs, collective energy, timeless message for whenever we find it, it is meant for us? What do we need to know today or whatever day we find it? Because it is timeless, spirit. What would you like the message to be? Most important message for those that need to receive it. Spirit, 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 send me the card. Send me the card or card. Oh, and there it goes. All right, where did it jump off to? Oh, right, and here it is. Okay. Wow. What a really awesome card indeed. The King of Cups. Okay. There it is. If you resonate at all with this card in any way, whether it's the gentleman body in a suit or a vest there and a tie kind of, you know, looking nice there and with the polar bear head. And how do you resonate with that? Okay. The King of Cups. I, this is why I love this deck, everyone. It's so quirky and fun as Chrisanne has put together these cards in such a unique way using humanoid bodies with animal heads to create her imagery here, knowing that basically Tarot has standard meanings, but she puts her own little creative twist in the meanings as well that we're gonna find out in the booklet when I read the messages of right. And I read her words, these are not my words, just to be clear on that, the King of Cups. So the Cups is really an emotional, it really correlates with the water signs of the zodiac so if you're a water sign if you have water sign placements heavy in your chart you know somebody this could be definitely a message for you and it doesn't always have to be related to your zodiac sign i know a lot of readers specifically use zodiac signs as their jumping point all right uh, where they jump off into the reading you know doing it for cancers or scorpios or pisces which are the water signs and in creating videos, reading that energy, all right? But that doesn't always have to be the case, all right? Not everything revolves around what is your sun sign, what is your zodiac, all right? So being open and mindful of that as well. The polar bear, wow. And look at the beautiful colors in this card. If any of those colors resonate at all with you, all right? Please know colors hold energy. Colors hold meaning, repeating colors in our life could be trying to send us a message, as well as other things like numbers. If you're seeing repeating numbers in your life, if you're seeing if you're seeing certain animals repeating within your life again, that those are just examples of signs and synchronicities sent to you, meant to get your attention. All right. Go out to your homework, do your research, use that human intelligence. I'm always gonna put that power back into your hands. I'm always gonna encourage you to step up and be in charge of your own education, all right? Education can really change the way that we experience the world around us. And the more educated we become, the more open we become to all sorts of different avenues of intelligence, of information, of opinions, of experience. The more you know, the better, right? So I always encourage people to educate themselves and to spend time in education and whatever topic it is for you, okay? So we're gonna jump into the book here with the King of Cups and see what uh, the King of Cups has in store for us here today. And again, I'm reading from the lovely booklet here, Chris Ann's words, her hard work, and the overall energy of this card Okay, mindfulness, dignity, kindness, a heart-centered leader, an incredible capacity to love, 
and empathic, empathic, I can't say the word, empathy, empathic soul, empathic, holy buckets, empathic soul. So right there, I really wanted to just bloop, push the stop button and start over again or, you know, thinking this is a blooper, okay, and starting over again because of the mistakes that I'm being, that are being made here, you know, tripping up on words, can't pronunciate. But again, my first initial reaction is stop the video inside my head, stop the video, start over so you don't look like you're stumbling on your words, you can't read. But I'm not going to do that. And I have to really catch myself and realize that there's lessons in the mistakes that I'm making here. Not only for me, as I'm challenging myself to not have this perfectionist vibe of needing to have control over every little thing and just allow things to be what they are, and also for you to humanize me, to make me even more relatable, right? That I'm here just living life, trying my best like all of us are, okay? So there's a lesson in that, okay? And I'm just gonna move on through it as much as it kinda tweaks me and makes me irk and wanna just, you know, one eye twitch and stop it all and start over. I think that it's more important that you see me struggle. Okay, so we're going to carry on. Centeredness, a profound connection to spirit, emotional intelligence, right? That's the overall energy of this card. Calm and compassionate and in blissful awareness of his responding emotions, this polar bear king of cups sits smiling, powerful and perfectly attuned to his environment. He is centered and ready to offer relationship advice, love, a peacekeeping solution, and most of all, forgiveness. He claims his power regardless of the circumstances around him, and he remains grounded and connected to his higher self, even though his melting homeland shifts tumultuously. All right. So really staying grounded, even in situations and circumstances that you can't control, all right? And allowing things to be what they are, but staying cool, calm, and collected, okay? It's a really good example of what happened a little bit earlier in this video when I fumbled through speaking and pronunciation. And yet, I just allow the moment to be what it is without pushing that stop and ending it and starting over because there's profound lessons in everything if you have that mindset. He claims his power regardless of the circumstances around him. And he remains grounded and connected to his higher self, even though his melting homeland shifts tumultuously. I just thought that that was a very important sentence to speak again, to say out loud to let you hear and think about. He always swims toward benevolent surroundings and uses his kind wisdom to make sure everyone is looked after. Follow his courageous and compelling lead. Show empathy and willingness to hear the perspectives of those around you. Seek quick solutions to any challenges that arise and find a balance between the logic of the mind and the sentiment of the heart. In shadow, he reminds you to steady your internal world. Walk away from manipulative situations or from your own tendencies to pull rank, to over control your emotions or to sway the emotions of others. Find peaceful, solid ground with your passionate wisdom polar bear conversations. I am the spirit of tenacity and strength. I am the spirit 
of tenacity and strength. No matter what happens, I choose how I want to feel. I choose how I want to react, how I want to reply to every situation and circumstance. And I walk proudly and in love with the world. Power and peace can be found when we rein ourselves in and put our emotions to good use. How do you use your emotions to your best advantage for a life well lived, right? Absolutely. Emotional intelligence is one of those things that is actually becoming more known and talked about within the world, within our culture, within the workplace, okay? And realizing how important emotional intelligence is and it's far more important than intelligence quotient or IQ okay our EQ or emotional quotient we could call it if you'd like is really what connects us all our emotional intelligence okay and also having enough emotional intelligence to understand yourself and understand that you need to give yourself a break to give yourself some grace and when you face mistakes that you've made instead of taking a quick reaction without thinking or making decisions without contemplating take a moment to just allow things to be what they are and then reply okay have a response not a reaction, right? This video is actually a really good supportive example of that here, okay? As I just allow this video to be what it is without having a reactory response by pushing stop and starting over, okay? So I'm actually glad that these little mistakes happen because it supports what I'm talking about. Isn't that interesting indeed? We can all work on our emotional intelligence and ways that we can do that is trying to put ourselves in other people's shoes, right? As they say, and having compassion and under, trying to understand what it must feel like to be that person. Even though we will never know because we are not them, at least we can hold space for others. All right, and allow them to show up as they are, even if it's in a way that we wouldn't show up in our, as ourselves, okay? But having that emotional intelligence and giving ourselves the same emotional intelligence and grace as well as we navigate this earthly experience in these human vehicles that we call home for just a short amount of time. All right, before we move on and join the energy again. All right, so if you're gonna take any type of action, today is your day and now is your time, okay? Yesterday's done and over. The past is in the past. We have to take the lessons and move them forward, okay? Apply it to our life, but also recognizing and realizing that Tomorrow's not promised, not to me, not to you, not to anyone. So we must say thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source energy. Thank you, spirit, or whatever it is for you. You get to decide. You get to use your human intelligence and your divine guidance, which is your intuition, and decide what labels you want to label the all that is or what belief systems you want to believe in. But spend some time understanding that the emotional experience is part of being human. The good, the bad, and the ugly, all right? That's all part of being here, okay? And to just take some time to be this king of cups here and stand in that energy and be calm, cool, and collected. Allow things to be what they are without trying to change them. And if you feel uncomfortable, just sit with it. 
sit with the feelings, right? Allow the feelings to come and to go. Do not become them. Do not let them all encompass your life, but just feel, allow, and release, right? Give yourself a break. Let yourself be a human, an imperfectly perfect creation of all that is. I thank you so much for your time today. I thank you for coming back to me the way that you do. I really appreciate you. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. And please come back tomorrow and join me again for yet another Collective Energy message. Bye-bye.